What is going on, everyone? Happy New Year. I thought we'd go big to start off the new year, and seeing that everything's bigger in Texas, we might as well start 2019 off there. The saying that everything is bigger in Texas likely originated as a reference to the enormity of the state's geographical area. In terms of square miles, Texas is only second to Alaska in size, and it's the largest of the contiguous 48 states. Others say it has to do with the rugged and big-hearted people that live in this great state. Texas is a great state and there's no denying that. Great economy, great history, great sports, entertainment, and great cities. Some of the country's best cities are in the state of Texas. They also have some not so great towns in this state. Sprinkled throughout the Lone Star State, you have towns that seem to have missed out on that Texas magic. And that's what today's list is all about. So sit back, kick off your boots, and watch my top 10 worst towns in Texas. Number 10, Leary, Texas. Leary is less than 20 miles away from the Arkansas border, and if you know anything about Arkansas, that's not always a good thing. Leary has about 700 residents who are bored all the time. The town is mainly used as a truck stop. Leary has a McDonald's, a travel stop, an RV and truck wash, and a barbecue restaurant. If the residents need anything more, they'll have to venture out to Texarkana, which is about 15 minutes away, which isn't too bad of a drive most of the time. If you have a Californian in front of you on the highway and they see an armadillo, all bets are off. The overall crime rate in Leary is 48% higher than the national average. Number 9. Elsa, Texas. Elsa is in the southern section of Texas, not too far from Mexico and the Gulf of Mexico. Elsa is not a place you feel safe living in, not even a place you feel safe visiting, driving by, or looking at. This is because the crime rate is 93% higher than the national average. While you're in Elsa, you have a 1 in 18 chance of being involved in a violent crime. The year-over-year -year crime rate has risen 104%. This is one of those places where if a friend moves to, you sort of forget they exist. You normally hide them from your family. Facebook page because their posts just get really depressing. Number 8. Redfield, Texas. Redfield, Texas is ranked the 1682nd best place to live in Texas out of 2000. That's not a good number. This place isn't the type of place you move to if you don't like the heat. And it's also a place you don't move to if you don't like the cold. The summer months can get up in the triple digits for weeks at a time, and the winters can stay in the 30s for weeks at a time. That is not good. And the cherry on that depression Sunday is the crime rate. Redfield's overall crime rate is 77% higher than the national average, and statistically, their schools suck too. Number 7. Lorraine, Texas. Between Abilene and Midland, Texas, you have Lorraine. Lorraine is a super small town of only 500 residents, and there's nothing here worthwhile. This is the type of place you end up if you were a total a-hole in a past life. You had to have done something like saying Motley Crue's shout at the devil in front of the Pope or something at the Vatican. The overall crime rate in Lorraine is about 65% higher than the national average, making the whole town safer than only about 8% of the U.S. cities. While you're in the town, you you have a 1 in 20 chance of being involved in a crime. And it's just boring here. Number 6. Lone Star, Texas. Lone Star has about 1,800 residents who struggle to make ends meet or even find a job. The unemployment rate here is 11%, while the poverty rate is about 23%. The good news is they beat their numbers from 2017. The unemployment rate then was 12.4%. Of the residents who do work, they only make an average of $18,000 a year. The good news is it borders the Ellison Creek Reservoir, which helps if you need to go fishing for your dinner. Number 5. Barstow, Texas. Barstow, Texas is more depressing than Barstow, California, which up until this week, I didn't think was possible. This is the type of place that you see from the interstate and think to yourself, I could probably make it to the next gas station and keep driving. Barstow is ranked the 1727th best place to live in Texas. There's something to be proud of. I wonder what the founder of this little lump of coal in the Texas prairie would say if he saw his town today. I'm sure there'd be a lot of profanity. The poverty level in Barstow is 73% higher than the national average. Don't live here. Number 4. 
Carlsbad, Texas. Carlsbad is not a place you want to live if you care about your safety or the safety of the people around you. I would be concerned about my goldfish's safety in Carlsbad, Texas. The population is only about 800, with the overall crime rate being around 79% higher than the national average. While you're in the city limits, you have a 1 in 21 chance of being involved in a violent crime in Carlsbad, Texas. No data on goldfish crime, but I'm sure it's high. Number 3. Detroit, Texas Detroit, Texas isn't as bad as some of the other towns on this list. It's actually ranked the 1372nd best place to live in Texas. God, that was rough. That's not good. What else isn't good is the crime and poverty stats. The crime rate in Detroit is 48% higher than the national average, and the poverty rate in Detroit is 40% higher than the national average. What got them on this list is they couldn't come up with an original name. I mean, come on. I know a lot of places in the country are named after other places, but this is bad. If you're going to pick a name for a place, why Detroit? Detroit sucks right now, but it was never great. Whoever named it must have named all the places. All along US 82 are towns that ripped off other places' names. You got Paris, Texas, Reno, Texas, and New Boston, Texas. Probably the most insulting of all of them. Number 2. Moore Station, Texas. Moore Station is out in the prairie southeast of Dallas a ways. That's the best part about this place. You're only one Greyhound bus trip away from a new life. I have a friend who told me all about this place. She grew up in Chandler, Texas, which isn't too far away from Moore Station. She explained that this place is the backwoods type place. The type of place a first cousin is considered a good option for a full-service prom date. Those are her words. I have to admit, I will probably use the phrase full-service prom date any chance I get the rest of my life. That was great. Crime is out of control here. The crime rate is actually 77% higher than the national average. They have less than 400 people. How come they can't get it together? And number one, La Presa, Texas. Now, this one's a sad story. This little area south of Laredo was started in the early 1970s when a company bought some land from a developer. The company started selling off tracts of land. Now, here's where the bad news started. The company didn't survey the land, and the sleazy salesmen took it a step further than normal sleazy salesmen start breaking off the lots in little areas, and they were never surveyed. They were overlapping, and some people owned parts of each other's land. It's just a big nightmare, and it has been for about 40-some-odd years. Now, since they can't get utilities, the community in some cases banded together and like ran extension cords to the houses that were unable to get utilities. It just went on forever. So basically for 40 some odd years, some of the people from La Presa lived without electricity, potable water, and adequate sewage. Around 2010, some of the houses started receiving power and sewage and water from a project started by some state officials. La Presa has a long way to go. And this one's like a tragedy. These people have been living like early settlers for about 40 some odd years like I said but hopefully someday they'll turn it around I don't know it's out in the boondocks you never know I think you should probably just pick up and move that's what I would do Alright, so that's my top 10 worst small towns in Texas. Hope you guys enjoyed it. There's a lot of other towns in Texas that could have gone on this list, but these are probably the top 10 I found. Hope you guys enjoyed the list. Don't forget all the links below. Leave me a comment. Tell me if I missed one that you think should have been on here. I'd love to hear it. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other. <laughs>